How's it going gamers, this is RebelX here in the War Room and today we're looking at Dragon Age Inquisition, how to take down the Vincimer Dragon and also the Northern Hunter Dragon. Let's get into that right here, right now. Alright gamers, you will find the Vince Summoner Dragon located here on Dragon Island. It's an area that you will unlock once you do a special operations for Varric. Now the reason why I said both the Vince Summoner Dragon and the Northern Hunter Dragon in this vid is because both these dragons are exactly the same. This dragon is a little more powerful than the Northern Hunter Dragon, but they're both electric dragons. So the strategy I'm about to give you, make sure you utilize it on both these dragons if you want to succeed. Now, the thing is, is that this is a very powerful dragon. It's an electric dragon as you see right there, so you and your party members should have equipped fire ruin spells on their weapons and as your mages launching fire spells. Focus on one particular body part on this dragon, either the front or the left uh, front legs, and that will do as much damage as you can to slow this dragon down. You need to be at least a level 18 or higher to take on both these dragons if you want to succeed. Now the other thing too is that this dragon has two special abilities. The first one as you saw right there, it glows yellow, stomps the ground, and adds armor to itself. This dragon takes a long time to bring down its armor if you and your teammates aren't heavily equipped. Other thing too is that make sure your teammates have enough healing spells, regeneration potions. This dragon will take a lot of punishment. Its second special ability, as you see right here, it lets out a large roar and starts summoning a spell. Its second roar, as you see right there, is finishing off this spell. If this spell succeeds, if you and your teammates cannot hit this dragon hard enough to make it stumble as it's trying to finish up its spell, those circles will electrify your teammates and yourself. You can't avoid it, you can't jump over it, you can't run away from it. This spell will last for a couple seconds, dealing heavy damage. You want to make sure that you and your teammates are doing enough damage to one of these dragon's body parts, enough time, that way both you and your teammates can stumble this dragon hitting it with heavy weapon attacks or heavy fire spells to stumble it before it can finish off its roar. Now another thing too to keep in mind is that because this is an electric dragon, this dragon will try to electrify the field. It will launch a large roar, it will also breathe electric fire onto the ground, just trying to incinerate the entire area. So make sure you and your teammates are constantly on the move, spread your teammates out. If your two warriors obviously will be in the front lines fighting this dragon, that's fine. But if you have two mages, make sure they're on the far left or far right of this dragon. Don't have anyone bunched up. This dragon will launch a special electric ball attack from its mouth. It will then, when this ball hits the ground, it electrifies and does splash damage. If your teammates are caught in the middle of that, you guys are screwed. Now, once you've done enough damage to the dragon, as you see right here when it stumbles over, this is where you should launch everything you've got. By this time, you as the Inquisitor should already have your special uh, opening the fade portal ability. Activate that, hit this dragon, and keep it down for as long as you possibly can. When this dragon gets back up after it falls the first time, it will become much more dangerous. This dragon's attack power gets increased, it then goes in this berserk mode, it starts flapping its wings more, it starts waving its tail, it starts activating its special spell abilities, but because you've already weakened this dragon's one body part on its, on its body, you should be able to keep this dragon stumbling and messing up on its special attacks. Be sure too that you and your teammates are all high levels enough as well, so don't just focus on your character, make sure everybody on your team is strong enough to take this dragon on. And finally, once you've beaten this dragon down and after a very long and, and pretty much aggravating fight, you and your team will finally bring this crazy, crazy beast down. Alright gamers, the beast is down finally, thank god, right? <laughs> so let's take a look at quickly at what you'll be getting for defeating this beast. Now, because this beast, the Vincent, uh, Vincimer Dragon, is very powerful, you'll be getting a lot of really cool uh, special items such as special uh, heavy armor, a couple power rings, dragon scales, and dragon blood. The Northern Hunter Dragon will offer you the, almost the same amount of stuff. A little lower level high, uh, heavy armor, but still, both these dragons are, are exactly the same, they'll attack you exactly the same, so utilize this strategy on both these dragons and you will succeed in taking down both the Vince Summoner Dragon and the Northern Hunter Dragon. Alright gamers, that's all the time we have for today. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to The War Room for more vids on Dragon Age Inquisition along with a lot more games coming very, very soon. Until then, we will see you guys next time in The War Room.